This is CNC World, a new perspective. Born in 1932, Venice International Film Festival celebrates its 70th birthday this year. Compared with the previous years, Venice is striving to reinvent itself with new activities after it has faced quite many challenges, especially from the imminent Toronto event, which is more commercially successful. The Venice Film Festival is competing with Canadian rival Toronto, with which it overlaps and which is seen as cheaper and more business-focused. Moreover, compared to other international festivals, the Venice Lido seafront tends to be more expensive with limited infrastructure. Observers estimated an investment of at least 500,000 US dollars is necessary to take a movie of medium big size to a festival. And many filmmakers think it's not worth going to Venice. According to latest data, cinema attendance in Italy has reached 91 million spectators per year against 200 million of France. It's said that the Venice Film Festival is walking in a historical crossroads. Moving forward or changing direction became necessary. While last year's Venice Festival was criticized for less glitzy with A-list celebrities, the event and 70th anniversary has been loaded with American movies and Hollywood superstars appearing on the red carpet like George Clooney, Nicolas Cage and Scarlett Johans. However, people also told CNC that those stunning names in Hollywood are not the only way for Venice to shine the festival. I don't think that popular means quality. You can have also quality also if actors are not maybe Vipstar or Hollywood ones. So um, I think there is a lot of new artists in Nuovi Horizonti and also in the Settimana of Critica that are really very good films. So I think it's not the, the Vipstar or the star that make the difference. It's the quality of the film. So uh, we are here to see film of quality, not Vipstar. If I want to see a Vip, probably I just go to Saint-Tropez and I will find it. Meanwhile, Venice has a reputation for emphasizing art over commercialism. However, in order to help Venice go commercial, director Barbara has embraced some new ideas for revolution. For example, the film market, an initiative created last year to encourage possible co-production partnerships and market access was enlarged with more areas at the disposal of professionals, including a project providing economic support for the post-production of four African movies. But no matter how it changes, Venice is still a good platform for new filmmakers to go public. Alexandrius Avrinas, 1977-born Greek director, has participated at such an international film festival for the first time in Venice. He vied for the Golden Lion with his film Miss Violence. I think the role of the festival is, uh, for me, it's very good because how the industry is working. Sometimes uh, the films, they never, uh, the good films or tough films are never released because somehow it's at the time that the cinema is more entertainment than art. And uh, for this reason, I think festivals have the power to show films that are um, good for the, for the society or for the art system or for the, um, op to open mind the people, but uh, maybe they will never be released if they will never be in a good festival. Cinema industry insiders also say that the challenges for Venice are also common for other film festivals in the world as the whole industry has been hit by waves of new technology. This is CNC World, a new perspective.